Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half, and all I'm gonna do is get Vicky opened up and let me get her turn. Ugh. Vicky takes it out of me. Alright, perfect. All right, so here are our ribs so far. Again, remember this is Richard's special blend. This is the six pepper blend. This is the sweet and hot blend. Now all I'm gonna do is switch these around because this is the hotter side of the smoker. I want all of the ribs to get an even amount of smoke. And there's my thermometer telling on me as usual. So what I'm gonna do is, because I'm, I'm cooking these a little hotter than I normally would. Sorry. Hello, Ross. That was an interruption. Remember I told you guys about, or actually you probably by now have seen a video of me using Vanna, the, uh, the E350 cargo van, extended cargo van, moving pinball machines. That's another pinball machine, or another two actually, that I have to move. But, all right. So we're gonna move these around. And I'm thinking, I might not even let them go for another hour and a half. I'm gonna check them in another hour and see if they're, they're ready. They, they're looking really good right now. If you saw that video where I answered Mark's question about the intake, okay? Remember when I said I was gonna get the smoker to settle in right at about 260 some odd degrees? There she is. All right, so obviously as you can tell, I'm back out in the garage <coughs> at Vicky. Um, and I'm gonna get these ribs out of here. So let me get you set up on a tripod. It'll be a little easier for me to use both hands as opposed to holding the camera. All right, so let's get these uh, ribs out of the smoker. But I wanna show you, show them off to you guys first. So now, one of the things you hear, an extra bit of sizzle. I didn't put much water down in here today. Um, so we're actually just about out of water down in the bottom of the smoker. But uh, she's good and boiling, she's getting good and hot. And that's pretty much right on time because these ribs are done. So if you remember, these rack, this rack here is Richard's Private Blend. This was the six pepper seasoning and this was the sweet and hot. And they look pretty daggone good. The good thing is I can tell the difference between the three, which is great for me. I'm gonna get these guys onto a little platter and then I'm gonna take them inside and wrap them up individually so that um, I'll let them finish in the, I'll actually I'll check them and see if they're done. I don't think they're done yet, but um, we're gonna see. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. I'm gonna get the ribs out of the oven and out on the counter and we can test and see if they are done. sound like they're done they smell like they're done let's see if they're actually done though let me get some gloves on to handle these I know I'm gonna be burning my fingertips up but it's all right it's for you guys and for my kids all right let's start with rib number one And uh, we're getting some good separation. I 
think they're they're almost there. Not yet. I'm going to wrap these guys back up. Might as well check rib number two. They were a little smaller. All right, we are definitely getting there. Not yet. A couple more minutes. So I'm gonna wrap these guys back up, put them back in the oven for another half an hour or so. All right, so by now you should know my taste testers. This is my middle taste tester and my oldest taste tester. And we are gonna have a little blind taste test here. All right, first up. Rack of ribs, number one. Can one of you hand me a knife, please? No, I don't want to use just a... All right, fine. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to give you a, a big bone here. Good rib. Nice, good single rib. So this is, I see you itching. All right, it's hot, obviously. Tell me what you think. Oh, let me. Cooked a little longer. Is it is it a little tough or? Um, it's it's not it's, that tough. It's just. Is it just because it's hot? Yeah. <laughs> um, it tastes like like the warm season in the Jeep or the Okay. Just to show you what the rib looks like, it's got a pretty pretty even smoke ring throughout. Not the same one. I want you to tell me if you like it, if you don't like it. I like it. Okay. All right. So that's there's there's three racks here to try. So you don't have to you know completely clean it. It's too hot for it. It is hot. <laughs> okay. This is rack number two. So here's a good look at the ribs.
All right, so now this one must have took a little more heat in the smoker. And uh, this one is a little more done than the other, at least than the first one. Uh, but it is also smaller, so that's probably another good reason why. It was good. Uh, it was I'm trying to get a good, a good bit so you can see the smoke ring on these. There's a good cross section so you can see the, the smoke ring. And unfortunate as it may be, the light kind of drowns out some of the pink. But this is a decent smoke ring on these two. What, do, what about smoke flavor? Do you guys taste the smoke on these or you just taste the seasoning on them? I taste the smoke. I've tasted the smoke definitely on this one and this one. This one I usually, I'm tasting the seasoning because it's getting like stuff in my teeth and stuff. So this one, this, the first one was a little more salty. This one like peppery and a little spicy and sweet. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Glad we were totally off. No, you're you're close. I won't say you weren't you were you I won't I will not say you weren't close. I was just trying to this is a, Can I get another piece of that? Oh, the sweet one? Alright, there you go. Here, here's another piece of the sweet one for you. I'm glad you guys like the ribs, and I did something different. John sent from I uh, had sent from Porter in York. Thank you, Mr. John. Thank you a lot. And Porter in York. And thank you, Porter. In York. All right. Would you guys? I mean, they taste fine. Yes. All I right. could. I could. I would definitely like these two more. <clears throat> maybe this one a little less. Okay. So. This one is a, this is Richard's Private Blend, all right? And it's a mix of Lowry seasoned salt, uh, pepper, onion, granulated garlic, and onion powder. I knew there was some garlic in there. Okay. I just tasted the Lowry's. You just, the Lowry's, was it a little much or? A little much Lowry's. Okay. Yeah, it was salty. Okay, because maybe I, I could dial it back or amp something else up <coughs> in there. This one was a six pepper blend. Oh, that's what I was tasting. Okay. Like six pepper blend. And this one was a sweet and heat blend. I didn't really feel the heat, heat that much. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, the heat was there a little, but the sweet definitely took over. All right, all right, well, thank you guys for being part of this little experiment. Wash your hands and... <laughs> Okay, so, you know, I trust the opinions of my, my middle and upper, or my middle and the oldest taste tester. They were pretty much spot on. Unfortunately, I told you guys, I don't personally eat, you know, pork, uh, health reasons and other things. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save some of these for my wife so she can try some a little later. But the kids are getting ready to have lunch. You guys cool with that? All right, well... Thank you again, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please check out the link in the description to head over to Porter & York's website and get something for yourself. Mother's Day is coming. If you haven't, also, please do me a solid. Go over to their Instagram page. Check out their Instagram page and uh, tell them I sent you and thank them for sending me this.